I like how the ultramarine pushes the background back and brings the bird forward. Ultramarine looks so pretty with so many different combinations of colors. I really enjoy working with it. And it's got a pretty little granulation effect. It's so hard to figure out the line between overworking something and just feeling like it needs that one little extra something and you don't know what and then you put in that extra something and hopefully it pays off and hopefully it doesn't make it look overworked because it's real easy to go from just putting that one little extra detail or two in to really make it pop to all of a sudden being overworked so just Try to be careful during this stage not to go too crazy, but at the same time figure out what that little something is that could just really make this pop. Look how pretty that's granulating. I'm going to refine this in here. I think we're getting closer here. I just keep putzing with it and then I'll put it away for a week and then I'll pull it out again. So that's why I haven't put all these videos up all at the same time because I just like to put it away, let it think, bring it back out. You know what else would be pretty is some bright yellow through here to really kind of make that pop a little. To really make him stand out from that background. That's um, lemon yellow. Lemon yellow is really almost like gouache. It's so untransparent but it's kind of thick and granular as well. And it's really bright. So it can really brighten something up. So you can play with that. Alright, I'm going to let that sit and we'll see what we got.